Introducing the world of art. A trip into the mind. A walk through the environment. With Christopher King Jameson. We were driving into Tagern Sea, or Lake Tagern. The, the the weather was it was almost sunny and beautiful, but in the rearview mirror, which I didn't tell anybody, it was completely black, and so I knew something was coming. Whoa! Shiza. Holy shit, look at the size of that. Look over there, dude. No, look at that ball over there. That I'm a cookie manager. Holy Oh my god. So I, I really debated on bringing my acrylics. Our car was already stuffed full of four adults and a dog and all the stuff that comes with that kind of a package. I left, I left it as a last minute decision and thankfully Lisi convinced me it wasn't at all too much to carry. You know, we had the first four plus days wet, yucky weather. And just having that little travel studio was a fantastic remedy for passing time. We had games and everything like that, but not everybody wants to play at the same time, right?
first day I got to the lake to draw, there was absolutely nothing going on in the water, which made for fantastic reflections and, and just, it was really beautiful. Of course, the minute I pull out my sketchbook and start drawing, the fairies just started running and <laughs> it completely ruined the reflection that I was getting off of the lake. There was one day that I actually took my acrylics and wanted to paint, but I <laughs> I ended up getting into a drawing that it just, it took me forever. And I couldn't stop. I didn't want to stop. And by the time I finally was satisfied with the drawing. It was actually dinner time and <laughs> so I, I didn't have time to pull out the paints. <laughs> um. The sunflower painting was really a nice surprise. I didn't really think I was going to be doing a floral painting or anything, but I, and my uh, Lisi brought the flowers out on the table and it just, it looked so good and I decided uh, it would be a mountain flower painting. I'm back in Croyd. I'm going up to the Tegan Sea Hütte and I'm gonna do a, this is a big kind of a half round loop back to where we're staying. A beautiful day. Finally, the weather has changed. <sighs> it's really steep. Up. Where I'm going.
fresh buttermilk. There it is. are fried. It's been a long day um, and I'll still have probably a 30 minute walk once I'm down at the bottom. Oh my lord. Look at how steep. Oh my god. You see that? Like that trail? Oh my. Okay. Um, see you at the bottom. I just got back, 24 plus kilometers, Tegern Sea Huta was incredible, one drawing, and that's it, absolutely gorgeous day, that last hill coming down was just so brutal. I couldn't even jog in the last five kilometers. 
Anyway. Those last few minutes before pulling in to your home, if you've been driving, especially on the Autobahn. So many thoughts and feelings run through my head. It's like sadness that the vacation is over. There's excitement because finally can get off this highway. And there's guilt. Nah, there's no deal. There's no deal. Nah, no, no, no. I'm in the zone. It's really flat. You can see right up there, or right, right back there. That's where I was drawing last month. There's gardens everywhere around here, obviously greenhouses too. And if I can find it, I'm gonna go back to this one location this way I think and really beautiful flowers and I thought I might do another floral landscape or go get a haircut because my hairstylist is in the zone too so maybe I'd do that that might be interesting or maybe both we shall see I guess you can come here and donate and grab a book. There's money there, so... I guess you pay for your books. I wouldn't put 20 years in for a paperback book, but all right. 
right, maybe I haven't got bought a book lately and they've gotten really expensive. Who knows? I like the perspective of the greenhouses in contrast to the old buildings back there, the old structures. this area because it's in the shade and it's got everything it's got the mountains the greenhouse the flowers everything I'm gonna check it out So I just had a great conversation with uh, Friedrich, who has some bees here behind that that fence, and it was really interesting. Great, great talk about everything: religion, weather, <laughs> everything. Freaking fantastic! Made my day. Thank you so much, Friedrich, <laughs> for talking. And I am done with that drawing, so I think I'm going to go somewhere else. I'm going to go back and get the car and maybe what I was talking about, getting a haircut and draw in the salon. <laughs> okay, we'll see. So I couldn't get an appointment for a haircut. So I'm just gonna leave it at one drawing today. And keep the memory of Friedrich going. Thanks, Dick. The great conversations that Friedrich and I had was about going out in nature and just experiencing just escaping from your norm and your comfort zone you know this is kind of a kind of like the map quest because you hopefully serendipity happens and it, it's one of those things, you know, I love to explore and find new things and it's great to talk to people about that too. Yeah, I'm so. in the soul. <laughs> <laughs>
Ohne Brille kenn ich nicht. Aber es darf man nicht sehen. Das ist gut. Ja, okay. Ja. product <laughs> I too 